Peter Botten has operated for many years in the complex and fascinating environment of Papua New Guinea with its myriad of languages and customs. His success as the Managing Director of Oil Search comes not only from his ability and intellect and energy, but from his genuine love and respect for the people of Papua New Guinea. Being able to get up in the morning and do something positive for the, for the country and its people is what drives me, it still does. It's been part of my life for 26, for almost 27 years now. As you say, you catch the bug, you see the people, you see what can be done in this wonderful country and you do something which is meaningful. If you wear a blue shirt and you wear All Search on the side, you are part of our tribe and All Search as a company looks after its own tribe. History will judge Peter Botten as one of the great figures in the PNG Australia story, overseeing the ethical development of PNG's resources and providing vital community services across the country, a true champion of corporate social responsibility. I can think of few people who have given more to the betterment of the lives of the people of Papua New Guinea than Peter Botten a legacy of which he can be justifiably proud. I've known Peter for almost 20 years. I met Peter and Jill in the late 90s. Uh, about 22 years ago when he had just become the uh, managing director for All Switch. Oh, I've known Peter for 16 years. He was a very young man like myself. My first meeting with Peter, coming out with a hoodie dress, a strange English accent, who pretended to be an Australian. He was full of energy, and he's still the same. Yep, that's the standard joke in our family that I've only actually seen Peter seven years out of our 43 year marriage. But we actually went for quality, not quantity. Peter has so many wonderful business and human uh, qualities. To highlight a few particular attributes of Peter, first of all, he is extremely fair uh, and very respectful. An exceptionally genuine human being. Ubiquitous and omnipresent. We all know Peter and he's always there trying to help. He passionately cares about his employees and those that he works with uh, and the communities that we work in. Uh, and I've not seen someone, particularly an MD, that cares so passionately about their employees uh, as much as Peter. I think he's very, very aware of all of the needs of the staff. You, you could say in some ways a bit of a softy. I think he's, he values, he prioritises people's position, their feelings, the sentiments and the like and moderates the business decision with a care, a care for people that is actually, uh, uh, I think, comes through in the culture of the company. Overall, his many years of building oil search, Peter Botten has cultivated a deep corporate culture of respect, inclusion, compassion, and hope for the people of Papua New Guinea. And he's championing the idea that men and women should be treated respectfully and equally. It matters all around the world. It matters in Papua New Guinea. Peter is in demand. Everybody wants a bit of his time. Everyone needs him. Everyone is just as important as everybody else. So it's really difficult to get him into many different places at once. So we actually need three Peters to be able to get through the work. As, as I think most people know, I mean, he doesn't sit around in office all day. I mean, he's out. He's continuously on the move. It's quite exciting, actually. Peter spends so much time travelling around the globe. One of the remarkable things about Peter is his endurability. He travels a lot. He, he seems to work 24-7. Uh, he knows his aircrafts better than we do, so we have to be on the ball. I, I'm a very efficient traveller. I know what lines to get in, how to go through airports quickly. <laughs> you have found the equivalent of over 14 trips to the moon and back. Needless to say, you and our cabin crew are very well acquainted. I've never put Peter on a Jetstar flight and never will. <laughs> I've put Peter on Jetstar. They left his bags behind. <laughs> Thank you.
Peter Botten provided this unique understanding of the Papua New Guinea people that other players didn't quite have. He had that unique relationship. He knew people by name. Beasley's the only individual I know uh, that has been at the top of a substantial organisation for that long and who has delivered so much. Peter is just a really down-to-earth guy. Um, you know, he's, he's just as happy and uh, just as comfortable with a Hyde's villager as he is with a, a big investor. <laughs> what makes me most proud of Peter is that throughout his life, he has always met challenges head on. I don't think he has ever refused a challenge. He's an amazing risk taker, but always calculated risks. So he always wins. Um, probably the biggest challenge he took on was marrying me. And I think he managed that one pretty well. Certainly a great man. Uh, the life in the corporate space in Port Mosby and PNG will not be the same without him. Uh, his charm, his charisma, his ability to understand below the surface as to what exactly is, is being discussed. Peter is a, is a, one of the, the most significant players, a real leader in corporate social responsibility in PNG. Uh, you know, he's initiated a number of programs through Oil Search and through the Foundation, which I think represent uh, great models for, for other players in PNG. Peter has done more for this country, you know, for example, the earthquake. This is largely a forgotten disaster. Almost nobody is talking about the dire situation here. About 48 hours into the, um, into the earthquake, as soon as we heard it, of course, it was devastating. We lost a lot of uh, members of our communities uh, we were worried about our staff and our people, uh, but more so uh, trying to help as best we can with the communities. Um, it, it took uh, less than that amount of time for uh, Peter to rally a number of uh, senior leadership team into a room and says it is the right thing to do and, and we can't wait knowing that government has own, uh, his own, its own challenges. As soon as the earthquake happened and then the way that Peter jumped in and the whole team had also jumped in, and, uh, and built that sort of logistics hub out of Morro to service all of the needs that were happening around the community in particular. And that was a focus during that time. A lot going on in the business, um, but the focus uh, for, for Peter, Oil Search, and all of us as well was to try and make sure we could do as much as we could for the community. The fact that he flew up here personally, spoke to everyone that was there in person, not only just speaking to a, a group of people, but he, would, he actually came up and said, hello, Ed. I know he was busy and there was a lot of things on his mind. Not only myself, but all the other people that were there was just incredible. So that, that in itself is the kind of leader that he is. Look, I think Peter's legacy goes beyond PNG, but you know, PNG has been his passion about the welfare of the people in Papua New Guinea. But his legacy goes on to all the people that he's touched. Uh, Peter will leave a legacy of an awful lot of people in Papua New Guinea having a much better life, uh, having opportunities for education, for health, for social justice that otherwise wouldn't be the case. At the end of the day, nobody's progressed oil and gas in in Papua New Guinea more than Peter Botten. He'll go down in history as, as the man that took PNG uh, from uh, where it was, where there was no oil and gas, to where it is today. His regard for his employees, his integrity, and his commitment to the areas where oil search is active impressed us immediately. And I will always remember his words to us, which is, don't listen to what we say, but watch what we do. Peter's legacy of combining the growth and prosperity of the company with the well-being of the communities where it operates is something he and Kieran both understand is important. You can't have one without the other. You know, the programs that Peter has put in place, they're sustainable, and um, I think he's already touched the lives of so many people in PNG. I think for me, one of the, the important things, though, is he's instilled in an organization the importance of working with our communities in a sustainable way and having empathy and caring toward the people that we, 
that we engage with on a daily basis. Those of us who, who are going to be continuing on working in PNG or working across the globe wherever oil search takes us in the future, it's a culture that's, that's part of the DNA of the organization and it's now part of the DNA of its employees as well. And I think that's, um, that's a legacy that not many people can claim in their careers and it's very special. Peter loves this country. That's all I could say, he loves this country. In his 26 year career, Peter would be most proud of the fact that he's made a huge difference to the rural people of Papua New Guinea. There are some people that we come across in life um, who've had such a tremendous impact on us um, career-wise and also personally. But it is on a more personal level that makes a lot of difference. There, there is, uh, I, I can't forget Peter. Uh, and I'm sorry, but uh, that's how Peter is. I mean, he's touched life, lots of life. And uh, I was one of them that, even though I knew him very well for a very, very, very short time, but he's really touched my life. And uh, my family and everybody's grateful to him. He's, I would say he's like my, my, my dad, you know? He's like, he covers for everything, for me, and also for the company, also for the country. And it's going to be a great lose to, to all of us. I've learned a lot from you, and on behalf of my um, three children and I, I just want to thank you so much for all your support. You're here on the world to, to actually interface with people. See them smile, see them laugh. You, you see a kid that can read now. Uh, they're the things that, that, that provide me with a, with a a real sense of, um, uh, of well-being and uh, when you see little things that the company does or I personally do have an impact, a positive impact on people, that, that it gives me a real buzz. There's, there's a lot of funny stories with Peter and you know he's got a really good sense of humour and he's just a really, really decent human being and it's like, and recently we saw him sing uh, and uh, Freddie Mercury's uh, Queen song, and uh, we are the champion. It was a fun moment. I'm not quite sure I want to sing now, though, really. But I could do. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on trying till the end. It's like a Hollywood star. People are coming up to say hello and shaking and, you know, hugging him and... Peter in a movie. I think he'd be probably played by someone like Russell Crowe, who would be an amazing actor, but also has a bit of a sense of humour too. Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Matt Damon, the thinking man's action hero. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would say Sean Connery. I, I was thinking Danny DeVito, but I, uh, I'm not sure Peter would appreciate that one. <laughs> well, I think Tom Hanks could play Peter because he starred in a movie called The Terminal about a man that lived in an airport. Dwayne Johnson? The Rock. Dr. Phil stands close. My daughter tells me Dr. Phil maybe. Denzel Washington. Oh, definitely Sean Connery. He is 007, James Bond. Probably Mel Gibson. He's only he's a good actor, but a bit crazy. This is highly career limiting. Uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> it's a height thing. Thank you, Peter, my powerful brother. I wish him all the very best. And Papua New Guinea will always be a place where he's welcomed now and into the future, as he's been welcomed before. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for all that you've done. For your support to Kikori Literacy Library. My message is, firstly, thank you. Thank you for being such a faithful steward. Thank you for your compassion. Peter, it's been an incredible, incredible journey. Peter, we love you, mate. I salute you. We appreciate uh, what you've done for us. Peter, if we can clone you, uh, that'd be really good, but we can't because uh, the technology is not there, so. You've probably got enough frequent flyer points 
to take everyone watching this video with you on your next holiday. I think the contribution that you have made, personally for many of us, you know, your mentorship and your counseling is one that we, many Papua New Guineans, have taken on and will you know, uh, cherish for the rest of our, you know, lives, our working lives in the industry. Peter, you can go out of PNG, but uh, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't get the PNG out of you. You'll be back again. Let me tell you, I will not miss flying into Perth at midnight on a Friday afternoon, midnight on Friday, and then flying out on Sunday lunchtime uh, to head back to work. That is something. Been there, done that, bought the T-shirt, and um, 1A on QA566 on Sunday afternoon can be the domain of somebody else.